Hi friends, Funk here from North 44, checking in at an unbelievably busy time of year on the farm. We are well into harvest season now, but behind on videos, so most of these happenings were from late July and early August. The highlight, of course, being garlic harvest, and after a drought failure last season, this was wonderfully satisfying, and we're really excited to share this with you. Give me that cabbage! <laughs> Radar! Really? Due to the wet season and our thick clay-based soil, the garlic comes out of the ground pretty filthy. Everything you read will tell you not to wash your garlic, but we've done this many times before and it actually dries better and faster, not all caked in mud. The garlic gurus will also tell you that exposing it to sunlight will burn it and or shorten its shelf life, but that's partially bullshit too. After washing, we give it a quick half hour blast in the sun to evaporate the surface moisture so it can be bundled. Despite breaking all the rules, our seed garlic has 99% germination in the field, and our kitchen garlic doesn't even think about sprouting until about mid-March. Garlic is much more resilient than everybody gives it credit for, so consider the garlic textbook debunked. Though I'll add a couple of footnotes, don't re-wet garlic that's already been dried, and don't lay it out in the sun on a hell-hot day, or for long periods of time. <laughs> Come on, one more. One more premium. Oh. Gotcha. This is really exciting. After last season. That's Dallas scissors. Uh oh, I hear Maddie with more. Yeah, but Dabba. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. That last batch was huge. Like that whole middle section, but there's a lot of smalls. But that, that middle section with the big palm stalk. Oh, I wish I had some more help. I need to wash and bundle by myself. It's gonna be a long day. Pops and hops to the rescue. <laughs> Hi Hops. Hello. You sorting out my tomato problem? Well, I know. Hops and Pops came up from Massachusetts again to help us out. While Matt and I focused on garlic, they worked together for days to miracle all the fallen tomato plants off the ground and back onto the trellis, not to mention pruning off a lot of the blight and weeding the paths, essentially saving our tomato crop for the season. Let's check out the music. Ooh, nice. Little guys, but yeah, sounds really good on the whole. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna cry again. Yes! Yeah! Anything possible!
That's Scape and Bull Bill. One always slips by the goalie. Alright. Whatever. Got the cleavage cam on today. It's not very comfortable. Oh, whatever. Got the cover crop from last year. Grew up through the straw in this plot. Now I don't know if I want to till it in or let it grow. Oh, a lot of bees. A lot of clover. A lot of weeds too. We'll figure it all out. Get in. Cucumber jungle. Woohoo! There's about 300 plants in a row planted in black weed fabric, and the rows are about five foot on center. I like to go six. You get a little more walking space in between, but when you have limited space, beggars can't be choosers, so you gotta tiptoe through the cucumbers. is the perfect pickler. Not too big, not too small. And I am currently numb from the waist down. I'm doing garlic today. Now, once the cucumbers start coming in, we can't skip a day. God forbid you skip a day and you come out and you've got 50 pounds of way too big cucumbers. And these are absolutely perfect. Oh, you beauties! Ah! It's been such a good day. It feels so good to be working again. Oh my goodness, these are perfect. These are so perfect. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> bring a crate this time, like a smart person. Don't forget your Guinness. Oh. 
Okay, heading back. Why does the banner got a wrinkle in it? 